Today I'm just going to talk about um, what we've been learning and uh, just a quick recap of that and uh, what, what comes after that. Um, so if you want to turn with me, I'm just going to be reading out of Philippians uh, 3, 12 to 17 in the Bibles in front of you, um, and you can find it on page 1826 in them. So you can all turn with me very quickly, and that'd be awesome. So starting in verse 12. Not that I have already obtained all of this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken a hold of it, but one thing I do know, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then who are mature should take such a view of things, and if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. So for the past week, we've been doing our Bon Voyage uh, Kids Club, and I actually uh, chose this passage because I think it really ties in to what we've been learning about all of last week. Um, so throughout the week, um, each day at Kids Camp, we have been learning about a specific point or stage in our journeys. Um, so for day one, for example, we uh, began to learn about our identity and what it actually meant to have our own passports when we leave for our journey um, so that we can both identify ourselves but also have, be able to have other people also identify us. Um, on day two, we talked about uh, having a direction to start off on our trip because having a direction is the second stage where we need to be knowing where we are going to stop us from getting lost. Um, on day three, we talked about the smoother portions of our trip and how there are times in our journey um, when everything will be going awesomely and everything will be going fine. And on, on day four, we learned about the rougher, more rougher portions of our journey where things may not be going as expected and we experience a lot of unexpected storms in our travels. And on, on day five, which was the Friday, we learned about how to get to the end of our journey safely um, and the importance of having a lighthouse or a beacon um, to guide us back home. Um, and although our journey at Kids Club has ended, we have so many other journeys going on in our lives. For the past few years, I have moved out to Abbotsford to go to, a school, to, go to school at um, Columbia Bible College, and it has been a real challenge for me. Um, and it has been a challenge because I quickly realized that I took way too much for granted when I was living at home with my parents. And I think a lot of us who are older can agree that it's a lot harder when you're living on your own. Like I actually had to do my own dishes, I had to make my own food every day, and I, I quickly became like almost overwhelmed by the sense of, I actually have to take care of myself. And then I think about, oh man, like what if I had kids and if I was responsible for them? Like, it makes me really realize that I am not ready for kids at all and I am like, I'm nowhere near that point. I'm like trying to hold myself together sometimes. Um, but while I was reading this passage, I couldn't help but think that Paul was maybe, could have been in the same space as I was. Um, not really knowing exactly what the future holds, um, discovering new things, and deepening his relationship with this church in Philippi. Um, so just a little bit of background info. Um, Paul um, was like the Jewish person. Like he was the like top of the line, like best person who like was like top of the line. Like he was a Pharisee, he was uh, a Roman citizen, which was a really big deal back in the day. Um, and he actually talks about it in the earlier portions of this chapter. And he talks about um, what he left behind, what, was, what people actually strove to be. Um, he, he says, um, that he wants to forget where he left so that he can strain forward toward his goal. Um, Paul is reorienting himself to the goal of his journey. And while I taught all last week about what journeys can be like with your kids, I think it is super important to remember the why we are traveling in the first place. We should know not only about where we are going or what we are doing, but also the reason why we do it. Because there could come a time where someone else could ask for our reason for why we do things. And how much more rewarding would that be to at least have some form of an answer for saying, 
for always being nice to people or always uh, having friends over for a meal or being um, what a Christian would ideally be like. Um, the other day I was filling out this, this questionnaire kind of thing um, for school and one of the questions that I was asked was really quite strange because I had never really heard it um, before. And the question was this, why do you get up in the morning? Now, I was pretty tired at the time when I was filling it out, and I just kind of wanted to get it done. So I put, um, I get up to one of the five alarms that I set up in the morning. <laughs> but that question really got me thinking, because I thought, well, that's actually kind of weird, because I don't actually know why I get up in the morning. And one of the questions I have for all of us is what gets us up in the morning? One of the questions we should be asking ourselves is what is my goal? And I think that is a big question, and by no means do I think that we need to have all the answers immediately or that it'll come to us all at once. Um, but I think it is an important stage of our journeys. One thing that I think is really important for us to realize about this, though, is that this isn't something that we have to do alone, but rather something that we can join all together in, in imitating Paul's example of chasing for righteousness through faith in Christ to know him in our relationship with him. And as we begin to figure out the reason we get up out of bed, we can start to actually question what our goal is as a church and, a, and as a community. As we go through this journey, I find that we continuously need to be re rediscovering and reorienting ourselves to the goal that is relationship with Jesus and building relationships with other people. So maybe it is actually time that we take time to refocus on a conflict that needs to be addressed with friends or family. Maybe that means being a friend of the person at school who no one likes. Maybe that means following through on those dinner plans you've made with friends that you continue to skip and postpone. Maybe that means inviting your neighbors over for dinner. It could even be as simple as waving to someone who passes us by on the sidewalk. And while we may not be perfect by any means, my hope is that we all can continue to persevere through the rewarding challenges ahead of us on our journeys. The main verse, I just want to end with this, the main verse that, um, that we had for our Bon Voyage um, kids camp was what the kids just said, but I'll say it again because I think it's super important, super, um, super helpful for me to realize what my goal is. And, it, and it's from Psalm 48, verse 14, and it goes like this. Um, for this God is our God, forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. So my hope and my prayer for all of us is that we remember God is our guide even to the end. Thank you.